Okay, for number five, we have, ooh, we have subtractions for both. That's going to be exciting. All right, so uh, we have a single denominator, which is x plus y. And uh, like what we did earlier, uh, x plus y cannot equal to zero. So therefore, x cannot equal to negative y. That would be our restrictions right here. Okay, x cannot equal to negative y. Okay. All right, so uh, let's see. Uh, we have four times three x plus two, so that would give us twelve uh, x plus eight. Okay, uh, you can consider this as a minus two right here. Okay, that's also a good way to look at it. So think about negative two times five x is ten x, negative ten x, and then negative or minus six. Okay, uh, minus this whole thing that means minus four and minus two x. All right, so uh, 12x minus 10x minus 2x, the x term would be gone. And uh, 8 minus 10 would be a uh, negative 2. So after everything is uh, canceled, you simply have negative uh, 2 over x plus y, or you can also write it this way. Either way, it's fine. So this is just about... Uh, seeing if you know how to handle the distribution with the subtraction. If you know how to handle this, you know, this should be very easy. 30 seconds is all you take, all it takes.